Hey guys, Liberty Man at 20 here. Uh, welcome to day 7 of 30 Days of a Christian. Today we're going to go over Judges 2, 10 to 19. Um, this is entitled The Order of Disobedience. Uh, basically, what happen what goes on in the reading of today is, is after the whole generation had been with who had been with their fathers, another generation grew up where n neither knew the Lord or what he had done for Israel. So now there's a couple generations where they don't know God and now they're worshiping other gods and he sends people to you know basically bring Jesus back or God back to them and nothing really happens so what God does is that he sends the people the enemies of Israel to conquer them and enslave them and all that and then soon after that they start believing in God and they start you know obeying his commandments and he starts to you know push their enemies out and just basically he's like hey this is what I can do for you and this is what I'm gonna do for you because I love you but then there's a time in between where they're like, um, yeah, we don't care. And so they start worshiping other gods again and not listening to his commandments. And God's like, please stop practicing your evil ways. It's, he just doesn't understand. This is not what I made you for. And yet they do it anyway. And so he has to punish them again. So this is just basically the order of punishment and what they do. It's honestly quite sad to see. It's like, when, what I explained in my last video, it's like, it's not that, or a couple of videos, videos ago. It's not that hard just to obey God's commandments. It's really not that hard, surprisingly. But people make it, but it becomes hard because when you include, you know, Satan and temptation, it, it fits together. And that's what this happens here. And also, they didn't know who God was. Most of us claim we know what God, we know who God is. On a forefront, I will be honest, a couple years ago, I thought I knew who God was. I had no clue who God was, really. I had a, a small little imprint and an imagination of who he was. Since I've been here, I, I know exactly what, who he is and what he does and what he's done for me and what he did on that cross. It, it's one of those things where, you know, reading through the book of Judges is it's one, of, one of my favorite readings because I, I went over this a couple years ago in one of my classes. It's... He's judging you. And it also says here is that everyone was disobeying him. God sent judges to judge them, command them, and make sure everything was good. And it says that here there was one judge that brought back everything in their faith, and they were happy. And as soon as he died, they went right back to worshiping different gods and not believing in our God. It's just sad just to see how quickly things change when someone dies. I know that from a very personal experience, as many of you know. But yeah, that's what I got out of this. I just thought I'd tell you about that. Um, day 8 is tomorrow. I believe it comes out of Samuel. Uh, 1 Samuel uh, chapter 8. So that will be uh, next, tomorrow's reading. Uh, thanks guys for listening. And this is Liberty Band at 20. End them out.